<laughs> Welcome back to Alabama Live. Hey, if you're thinking about becoming a golden tiger, well, Tuskegee's fall open house is where you need to be this weekend. This is Absolutely. Dr. Courtney Griffin alongside Captain Josiah Kinsey yes, because you're holding a big event, an open house to really show what Tuskegee University is all about. Tell us what you got planned. So um, this year, um, as you know, Tuskegee University has had a jump in enrollment for the last two consecutive years. So this is an opportunity for us to continue that effort and to bring about the opportunity for students to engage in America's number three HBCU, number one in the state of Alabama. So we have a lot planned as far as greetings from our new president, Dr. Mark Brown, our 10th president, first alum of the university, um, our academic programs, our students success programs. Um, the band participates. We have a lot of student organizations that are excited and geared up ready to meet our prospective students. Um, and then at uh, 10 o'clock they get an opportunity to go with our Air Force ROTC department to the fly-in at Moton Field. So I wanted you to talk a little bit about that, Captain Kinsey. That sounds like a really cool moment. Yes, yes, and it will be, right? So what we are doing, we are commemorating the rich legacy and history of the military that is in Tuskegee. We talk about Chappie James, talking about the Tuskegee Airmen, right? And our goal is here to celebrate them, commemorate them for their efforts, making a small space like Tuskegee a big place. So we're going to have the Alabama National Guard out there. We're going to have uh, military aircraft, vehicles, things like that, so people can experience and see and just have a good time. We're talking family, food, fun, and flying. Will this also be a, a maybe a recruitment tool for you and oh, the ROTC? Awesome, most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. Um, I feel like everyone will come out here, have a good time, have a different experience, a military experience almost, right? And we just want people to have fun. It kind of goes hand in hand with a brand new program that Tuskegee University is offering, yes. a brand new degree. Tell <laughs> we us do about have it. a new degree program in aviation where students yes. can also um, be certified to be become pilots. So we hope to launch that program probably next fall or so um, so we can have students to come in and be able to take a look at that. I think Tuskegee University is one of the only HBCUs that offers all four branches of the military. So it's an awesome opportunity, a lot of funding opportunities for our students to get involved and stay engaged. So, um, and we'll do all of that right before we go to the football field and take on um, Kentucky State. So the Golden Tigers are geared up and ready to have an awesome football game that day as well. Okay, you already did a little bragging on this Just Tuskegee. a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to expand on that when you said number one in the, the state, state number Alabama, three so in the country. <laughs> according to U.S. News and World Reports, they do annual rankings. And so this year, um, we are ranked number three. Um, and so we're so proud of that. And it's because of the dedication of our faculty, our staff, staff and the um, support services that we provide to our students that they're able to go out, get great jobs, you know, and give back to the community, give back to the university. So all of those points of, of, of record that they use to guide that have allowed us to, to increase our rank this year to number three. So we're really proud of that and to stay number one in the state of Alabama. Uh, we also rank number one in social mobility, which means uh, you get the bang for your buck when you come to Tuskegee. So it's like a good pair of shoes, I always say, you know, you pay for what you get. So so we're so proud of the students and the faculty and all of the research happening at our um, campus. And so this is just an opportunity for people to come through little Macon County and see what we have in store for prospective students around the area. It is a really great opportunity for people to kind of get the feel Absolutely. of Tuskegee University. How would you describe that environment? So that if you atmosphere? talk to anybody, they will talk about the Tuskegee experience. And mm -hmm. there are no words for it. Mm -hmm. It just is. Um, but when you, I just remember being a student myself. I graduated from Tuskegee University. Um, when you step on that campus, there's just an awe. There's just this feeling of belonging, a sense of family. Um, we talk a lot about um, Booker T. Washington, who was our first principal. Um, he talked about creating um, an opportunity to develop the head, the heart, and the hands. And so we do that, a really good job of doing that at Tuskegee. And so it's just something you have to just step on our campus and feel. Um, it's just. It's just a great, mm -hmm. <laughs> people come there and they don't want to leave. So it's just a great, um, experience. what you say? It's, just, it's, it's a an experience. experience in itself. <laughs> Honestly, it is. The rich history, I mean, every building you go to, there is something there. There's something to commemorate, someone to remember. Like I said, making a small place like Tuskegee big, right? Mm -hmm. um, Tuskegee is amazing. And I wouldn't trade this position where I am right now to experience this um, 
amazing. Yes. yes. We often talk about when students come visit, like you are walking the same hollowed grounds yes. and following the footsteps of Booker T. Washington yes. and George Washington Carver. So we talk a lot about that, and so students kind of feel that. Um, we had record-breaking tours coming in this year from people just wanting to come. Um, the National Park Service has several uh, museums on our campus to commemorate, as he said, a lot mm -hmm. of the greatness that happens on our campus. So it's just something you have to come and experience <laughs> for yeah. yourself. I love that, developing yeah. the head, the heart, and, and the hands, hands and a place that holds so much so history. Much history. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Go over all the details for the open house. So open house will start, um, registration starts at 7 o'clock in the morning at the Chappie James Arena. Um, the program will commence promptly at 8 o'clock. We are very keen on time <laughs> mm -hmm. because the band has to leave our um, event and then go to the football field. Um, so the welcome program with the president, the provost, and the VP of Student Affairs starts about 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock we'll have entertainment with the football team, the Greek organization, Mm -hmm. the choir, the cheerleaders, and then at 10, students can either do a campus tour or they'll be bused um, at no extra charge. Um, they'll be mm -hmm. bused to uh, Moton Field for the fly-in, and then they will bring them back um, around 12.30 for yeah. the flyover that they will be doing at the football game that starts and kicks off at 1 o'clock. Oh, wow, it sounds like a jam-packed, really exciting. It is a full day. Cool <laughs> and full, full day. day. Yes, full and day. the weather should be great, right, for awesome. that fly-in. It's going to be amazing.